kebabs mince beef kebabs mince meat kebabs I've got here one pound ten ounces 750 grams of minced beef and pork this one is although you can use minced lamb you can use the minced beef use what you have all right I've got a, a sprig of parsley um, a, a small sprig of um, rosemary, three cloves of garlic, a small onion. I'm going to use a slice of each of these peppers and I've got two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of curry powder and some black pepper. All right, um, I really need to get these vegetables all chopped up now and uh, get this all into the mixing bowl. All right, I've got uh, everything chopped up pretty much how I want. You see I've just used a little sliver each of these two. They can go back in the fridge. And uh, I've chopped up the onion very finely. That can all go into my bowl. And I've chopped up my parsley. And rosemary, that's gone in. In goes the curry powder. And what I've done is I've chopped up the slivers of pepper into very thin julienne and now I'm just going to chop those into a really small dice so let's get you in close on that so hold them together bunch them together and then just chop them into these very fine pieces and that's how you need it look real thin all right once you've got it like that very fine, that goes into the bowl. Now with my garlic, I've chopped it up, but I want to get it a bit finer, so I'm going to use a teaspoon of salt on that, chuck the rest of the salt in there, and mash that up using the salt by just drawing the blade backwards, using the salt as an abrasive to help you chop it up. Don't worry if any other bits get in there, they don't matter, it's all flavour. So I'm pressing on the top of the blade, pushing the blade down and drawing it backwards. And you can hear the salt abrasing. So that just goes into the pot with everything else. And we give that a good old mix. All right, once you've got that mixed up to your satisfaction, you want to cover that and let it marinate for about three or four hours. You can probably get away with it marinating for an hour because it is, uh, it is minced meat after all. It is ground meat after all. So, uh, but I like to leave it for about four hours. Oops, one thing I forgot to do. My favourite and lovely black pepper, that's got to go in there. Lots of it, don't be shy. And then I need to cover it, as I said before, and let that marinate. All right, my meat's been marinating. Um, for plenty of time now. Uh, right, what I've got here is I've got a, a roasting tin with a wire rack and I've covered it in tin foil uh, to help reflect the heat back on it and I've cranked my uh, oven up to 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit and now uh, I'm just going to show you what I what you can do is if you're going to barbecue these you can put them on these flat skewers um, and then barbecue them or cook them on, um, I can't remember the name of it now, the, the, there's a, an Arabic style barbecue which is long and thin 
you can cook them on that or you can just skewer them and cook them on an ordinary barbecue. But what I'm doing is I'm doing the oven version. So what I do, uh, what I do is I wrap uh, the meat around this skewer, pull it off and then put it on there like a sausage. So let's just show you how that works. So you grab a piece of meat, wrap it around the skewer, just round a chopstick and then spread it out until you got it to a nice length and then just drop it on there. Now that creates a sort of hole in the middle and it helps it cook quicker and it ends up really nice and juicy. So I just carry on now till I've done all that. So that's them all made up and ready to go in the oven. Uh, they'll go into uh, the oven at, uh, like I said, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 uh, to 15 minutes, but keep your eye on them. <sighs> Lovely. Right. All that's left now is for me to serve those up. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.